Hi guys, I'm here to share with you a design team project video for Elegant Embellishments. I am guest designing for the month of June and if you watch my previous project video I shared with you guys, I told you that I wanted to do like a whole little set of matching items. So this is another item that I did. Well, it's a little set of items that at the end all of them are going to coordinate together so if you saw that video you'll see that these items look similar and that is why because I'm making a whole little set so this project that I did right here this is an altered Tim Holtz configuration box this is the one that looks or it's made kind of like a book and I've had this in my stash for a minute and I've been trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do with it and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to alter it up. So I know I can't really get it all into frame because it's kind of big. So I'll just lift it up and show you guys. So this is the front. Looks like this. And then here's the side. And I'll go more into detail on it. And then the back looks like this. And it's funny because I noticed um, when I was doing this, I did this upside down. So I have to fix that. I was just laughing at myself when I saw that. So um, I'll go ahead, show you guys, or explain what I did on the outside. And then I will show you guys the inside. So what I did here, I'm going to turn this sideways so you guys can get kind of a better view. So if you guys have seen the Tim Holtz items, you know they come in like that kind of khaki brown color. I'm not really a fan of that color, um, but anyways, I was going to alter it, so I guess it didn't really matter, but I went ahead and I sponge painted the whole box. Um, if you guys saw the clock that I showed you, I did the same thing I did with that on here, um, which is funny because I took all the time to do it and then I covered a lot of it up. But that's why I left the back blank because I wanted to show some of the paint. So I just left the back with no paper covering it. So I painted the whole box. Then I added this mermaid paper. I know it's unicorns, but I just like the color. And I just, you know, mermaid and unicorn, I'm like, you know, to me it goes together. So um, I covered the front and I wanted to have a little bit of a border, as you can see. So you can still see the paint around it. So I did that and then the next thing I did here was I added this trim and it goes all the way down but obviously I ended up covering it up and then um, I wanted to use again the same kind of items that I used on the other projects so I used some of the same flowers and stuff so I just made this whole cluster of flowers that are all from my stash and this is a handmade flower with the bling center that was gifted to me and then I used some of the little shaker pieces as embellishments. So you can see they're tucked in. There's the white one or clear one, the uh, multicolor stars, the green gem ones, and then the pink stars. So I just tucked those in. I think they look really cute. A nice little uh, something different that you know you don't really see because like I mentioned before like I've never seen anybody carry stuff like these so I just really like those and thought they would be perfect just sticking out of the flower clusters and then here at the top I used this heart resin charm it did have a little hook but I took it out and I just added it to the top here I think these are so cute um, so yeah I just wanted to add it to the top and then here on this little piece, I added this ribbon to keep this closed, kind of like just a little, you know, tie closure. Added this heart from my stash, and then this is one of the little charms that was from the unicorn kit. Super cute. I just added it on there because I wanted to have a little something extra there. And then here at the side, what I did was I took two different trims. I'll show you guys. So there's this ruffle trim right here, and I put that one down, and then I added this other trim here on top of it. Just thought it was pretty. And then what I did with 
the last project that was the shaker heart with the little unicorn I had these little dangles from the bottom so to tie it in together I decided to do that from the side of the book here but I did add a little bit of extra pieces um, so here at the top I did the first angle is one of the unicorn charms right here at the very top and they're all on their own separate little ribbon and then as you go down they get longer and so I added a clear one again a pink one with stars and then there's one of the unicorn charms here and then there's the gem one and so you can see they just hang and it I thought it looked kind of neat like you know when you have those bookmarks that have like the little tassels and stuff on them and they kind of just hang out of your book that was kind of the look that I wanted to go for here like if there was a bookmark on this faux book um, so the end pieces would be hanging out so that's how I did that and it just sits there and I just think it looks really cute I know it's kind of hard to get that into frame but I really like the way that it looks so there's that part and then when you untie it and you open it up this is what the inside looks like so right here again I just took um, a piece of paper and covered it up here I know covered up all my painting but that's okay so I put that there and then here on the configuration part again I took all the boxes out painted them and then when I put them back in I glued them down so they wouldn't come out and um, so this is the bottom one which is the biggest and I did back all the boxes with the same mermaid paper and then this little saying right here was from the stack of paper so I just added a bunch of flowers and then these little beads right here are from the kit and then I also tucked one in right here so um, this one, these are so neat. They actually do have like the real blings inside. I just thought those were so pretty and I love, of course, you know, anything blingy. So I just tucked those in and then um, just went around with some trims and stuff and added some little hearts. And then here in the middle part, I added this charm right here now again if you saw my clock this was the one I had hanging from the center but on this one I just cut the little loop off that was on the top and then on the clock I also added a little bow here at the bottom so like you know I wanted these to coordinate together so I went ahead and put one here too so this is kind of like a focal point as well as how I did the clock um, so I added that and then right here you can see there's a little multicolored um, star shaker charm that's from the shaker kit and then over here is another uh, this is a white enamel unicorn charm that I just stuck in there I think is really cute and then let's see I'm trying to find the best way to be able to show this for you guys pretty good so here I added another one of those blingy beads you can see it in there and then also another unicorn charm which I cut the little loop off of the top and then just stuck it in there and then this heart is from the unicorn kit as well again I took the little loop off that you can string it on and then just glued it in there I think it's super cute and then this one right here I just added this little heart shaker that was from my stash thought it was really cute so that is the inside of my configuration box I think it turned out really cute and it matches perfectly back to the clock which is exactly what I wanted to do so then you can just again tie this up close it and then you could either display it like this closed or you can display it open like that either way so I actually had a really easy time working with these kits because they were just so cute and I loved them so much. So I just had like all this inspiration of stuff I wanted to do. It was really, I mean, of course it's time consuming because like, you know, I work really slow and everything and like, 
you guys know like I'm very like detail oriented so like sometimes it takes me a little longer to do stuff but um, I did have a lot of fun working with the items so that is the first item that I did and then the second one I did of course it's also coordinating so I made this this is like a little hanger and so I took this wood piece right here this is just like a little chalkboard piece and it was a wood color and I painted it up with the same colors I decided to just leave this with that um, what was this color called Key West I just painted I didn't like sponge any of the other colors on there I just decided to leave it that color and then instead of co covering it all with the mermaid paper I just added like a thick strip of it here and then if you can see the trim there I also put it here and I just squeezed in two pieces, two of the like, it's like a flower kind of, put those down. And then here in my flower cluster, um, I did basically the same thing. Just added a bunch of flowers from my stash, added some of the shaker bits as little embellishments. So that's the heart one, I mean the star one, the pink one, the multicolor stars, and then the clear gem one. Um, just tuck those in again here's the star from the kit and I um, just tucked it down in there and then I don't know I just think it looks really cute I added this dangly trim here it's just is just from my stash just thought it would be really cute and then here at the top I use this is the same ribbon that I use to make these little dangles on so I use that as the hanger and then where each of them came together and tied I added a little pink bow again to coordinate back to these with the little bows so I put one on each and then I added these little charms right here which is from the flower charm kit I just cut the little loop off that you would use to dangle it onto something Cut those off and then added it as the little center there and then on this one I added one of the unicorn charms from the unicorn kit just as a little something extra because I wanted to have some kind of unicorn on everything so I just used a piece of ribbon and dangled it like that so this can just hang up I think it's super cute so there's that and then one little extra thing that I did was I made like a little I guess storage cup container I'm not even sure what you would call it but again I used the same items so here this is just a clear container that I had and so I added a strip of the mermaid paper this is one of the trims that's on the side of my book I just decided to use one as opposed to two because I didn't want too much of the paper to get covered up and if I would have put the other one it would have been covered up to here so I decided to just put the one and then this crochet trim for my stash I finished the edges off with the braided trim and then here in the front I used again one of those like flowers that I just I just call them flowers one of these right here I cut it added it to the center and then I took another one of the stars that I had from the unicorn kit added it to the front so you can see they match and then um, added just two flowers and I added these little loops right here again this is the same ribbon right here that I use I just made some little loops made three at the top glued them together put three at the bottom so it evens out and then I took another one of the charms from the unicorn kit and just glue, glued it onto the front of the star um, I did use hot glue to glue it on which it doesn't stick very well so what I would recommend if you want to if you have these just to use a little bit of a stronger adhesive like like E6000 or something just put a little dot on the back and put it on there and it would stay better um, that's just what I seen because I had glued it on and it just popped off so um, you'll need a little bit of a stronger adhesive if adhesive if you want to put something on the um, resin pieces. 
And so this basically can just hold little things, like you could put it on your desk and whatnot, like you could use it for pens if you want, or you could put your little tools in it, or like a little cutter, you know, just to, it would be really cute just sitting on your desk or something. So I just thought that would be really cute to go with it. So guys, that is my other projects that I did. So um, again, as with my last video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So if you watch this far, you are getting uh, the inside soup, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so make sure you leave a comment on this video. Make sure you're a subscriber. And maybe you can leave me any comment, but if you want to let me know which either um, project was your favorite out of these or which project was your favorite out of all five projects that I showed you. And uh, I will be doing the, the giveaway and I'm not sure yet when the when I'm going to do the winner. Um, so just keep posted for that. But as always, I you know I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on my projects, what you liked and whatnot. Um, and again, make sure you guys check out Elegant Embellishments. I will have all that information in the description box below. Um, there is new kits up, different ones, and there are going to be new kits listed. So just make sure you guys go check it out because I told you guys before that those kits come in and they sell it right away. So if you want to get in on it, you need to move because they will be gone. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.